What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Angie Monique and for today's video we are talking about those top lip liners that you need. Well hold on let me say this. Top brown lip liners that you need in your collection especially as women of color. So if you want to know what products I'm going to be talking about in today's video and I do have some affordable and high end ones. Come on let's go. All right, my love, so I have quite a few, quite a few lip liners here. Um, some of these are very, very similar in shades, but I always say as a brown girl, you can never have too many lip liners. Like anytime someone recommends a new brown lip liner to me, I'm running to get it, especially if it's affordable, I'm going to get it because I just feel like it's a staple. It's been, again, I can, I'm going to constantly keep saying this. As a woman of color, it is a staple. So, let's hop into the ones that I have. So, I'm going to mention the higher end ones first. Just because, um, again, they're more pricey for lip liner. Um, but, still very, very good. And something that, if you want to fork out the books for it, you have that option. But, later on in the video, I'm going to give you some alternatives. Okay? So, the first... So the first two that I have is by the KKW Beauty brand. This is going to be New 2.5 and I also have New 3. Um, New 2.5 is a very, very milk chocolate brown. Um, I'm going to swatch these as well. So this is, as you can see, it's right there. This is new 2.5. When I say milk chocolate, milk chocolate, it glides on like butter. It's so creamy. You do have to sharpen these, which is a bummer, but it's okay. Like for a good lip liner, I don't care if it's retractable or I got to sharpen it. Like it's, it's fine. But this milk chocolate is just perfection. If you want that um, everyday lip, like if you want to throw on a lip liner and a gloss, this is the lip liner to go for okay and then nude three is just a little bit darker it's a little bit richer oh yes so as you can see you can tell the difference that this one here dark chocolate okay dark chocolate milk chocolate like but you need both of these like you really do need both of these like they can you look they look similar and you know you could I'm pretty sure obviously you can tell the difference but you like girl it's a brown lip liner which one like I can just get one of them you need both of them okay you need both of them um the next one that I'm going to mention is I've had this for quite a while this is a very very matte matte lip liner this is MAC chestnut also a good staple um y'all know mac is og and this is very very similar to nude three so this right here chestnut by mac very very nice very pigmented it ain't moving when i say it's once it's there it's there it's not moving i love to pair this with my red lips my especially uh my liquid lipsticks love 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 this so this is my typical liner that I like to do when I'm doing a matte lip. I typically go for this one. Yeah. Um, and then last but not least, this is a newer fade. If you watched my last video where I reviewed or did a first impressions on the Dose of Colors and Makeup Shayla collaboration, this is her lip liner and her lip trio, Icing on the Cake. This is in the color She's Ready. This is a retractable pencil, which is good. So it can, you know, it's retractable. So you don't need no sharpener for it but it's still a really really good liner it's so creamy i'm talking about like butter it's so creamy you guys this one here so this one is not i definitely wouldn't this is not a matte like this is definitely going to give you shine you can move it around if you need to blend it or anything like that but love 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 this um yeah you can move it around yeah but that is She's Ready by Dose of Colors, MAC, Chestnut, KKW Nude 3, and then KKW Nude 2.5. So those are my higher end um, lip liners that I'm going to mention to you guys today. And then on this hand, I'm going to do my affordables. So the first one that I have is the NYX 
Lying Loud Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Rebel Kind. This is a really, really nice lip liner. This is the one that I have um, been utilizing the most recently. Um, but you do have to sharpen this. But again, it's that dark chocolate that you like. You need it. Honestly, I keep saying it over and over again. I know a lot of these look the same. You like, girl, just which one do you recommend? I recommend all of them. I recommend all of them. But this one here, I'm going to try to do this with my left hand. Oh, yes. This is so, so nice, you guys. Again, glass on the skin like butter. And it's dark and rich and it's just the perfect color this is another color that i will probably use with my red lipsticks i love 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 this now y'all know y'all like red brown lip line yep it's a woman of color line your lips with brown always line your lips with brown <laughs> but yep this is line Labs by nyx so very very affordable y'all already know nyx has some affordable brands and then the other ones that I have, these are by Juvia's Place. I have Cola and then I also have Brownie. Cola is like, um, oh, if y'all hear my baby snoring, she tired, she not feeling well. So let my baby sleep, let her be great. So this is Cola and then I'm going to go ahead and swatch Brownie as well. Brownie is more of a reddish brown. Yeah, definitely has more red in there. And then cola is just more neutral. But also glass on like butter. This one here is cola and this one here is brownie. So yeah, just depending on what like lip combo you're looking for. You can always throw a brown lip liner on in a clear gloss. Or Fenty has some of like the best glosses, y'all. They have different formulas. I'm actually wearing a Fenty lip right now. I have on um, the Fenty cream and cupcaking, and then I topped it off with her Fenty um, gloss balm and Fuchsia Flex. So this is actually what I have on my lips with a brown lip liner. Any brown lip liner, but yeah, this is what I have on my lips right now. So these two, so we have NYX and the other two, the next two are Juvia's Place. And then last but not least, now I don't know, these are just what I have. I do not know if they still sell these. I got these with the uh, ColourPop and Shayla collaboration that she did a few years ago. But I want to say even before they had BFF and BFF 3 and or 2 and 3 and all that. But she came out with BFF 3 and BFF 4. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they had like a regular BFF, BFF 2, and she came out with 3 and 4. Love, love, love these. Hands down, like some some really, really good lip liners. Like Shayla, I told y'all, Shayla, she gives it to us. Like with these brown lip liners and lip combos, she's the girl that's going to give it to you. So this one here is BFF 3, more of a neutral and then bff4 is that dark chocolate so we have here bff3 and then here bff4 love 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 these so again all variations of brown dark chocolate milk chocolate but really really good 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 lip liners for women to have in their collection these are staples like i really hope they never discontinue any of these um i just was on mac cosmetics this morning i know for sure they still have chestnut um kkw beauty i'm pretty sure they have dose of colors this is fairly new so i'm pretty sure you can still get your hands on this lip trio i don't know if they sell this separately like her lip pencil separately but i know you can get it in her trio and her trio is bomb um Julia's Place, yes, they have these, and you can get these from Ulta. Ulta, and then check out ColourPop again. If they don't, I know they don't have her collaboration anymore, but also just check and see in their lip liners if they have these shades. I'm pretty sure they may have, um, but if they don't, ColourPop is really, really good. They have some great lippy pencils, so check them out as well. And again, affordable, 
and NYX this is fair mm, this is fairly new as well so check this out this is the NYX line loud so you guys I just wanted to show you some of my without dropping something some of my favorite go-to brown lip liners again I feel like these are staple staple uh, products to have in your lip liner collection and just in your lip combos period you need some brown lip liners so. all right you guys that concludes today's video i hope this video was helpful i hope you found some liners that you've been eyeing or you know i put you on to some new lip liners that you haven't heard of before let me know down in the comment section below also if you have any suggestions of lip liners that i need to be up on let me know down in the comment section below as always all the products mentioned in today's video will be listed in the description box so be sure to check that out and if you have not yet please hit that subscribe button join the family and as always i'll see you guys in my next one bye